All right, so this is an example of how the MacBook Pro keyboard does not work even after having the entire top case replaced once by Apple. So the first faulty part is the spacebar. And you might see here if I press the right side of the spacebar, I have a nice clear clicking sound. And as you can see on the screen, the cursor also advances. So it reacts every time. Um, let's try that again. I can press the Q every second time. I'm going to get nice sequences of Qs and spaces. On the left side, on the other hand, it's completely quiet. Actually, the first time we got a bit of a click, but as if you just rest your finger on it, the space bar doesn't really back. And as you can see on the screen, it kind of reacts 50% of the time or so. Let's try that again with a key combination, say Q and space. As you can see here, that plenty of double Qs and everything on occasionally a double space even. So it doesn't, the whole point is that the point where the space bar clicks and the point where I actually get a space are not the same. Try that again. Okay, now it doesn't react at all. So it seems that if you just rest your finger on it, the returning force is weak enough that it doesn't really go back to the place where it's sensitive again. The second key that's problematic is the P. Same thing here, um, the right hand side of the P works great and the lower left hand side of the P works great. The upper left hand side on the other hand, as you see in the screen, you can hear the clicking. I'm pressing the key and I'm getting a clicking response and I'm not getting a single P on the screen, which makes this $2,500 computer completely useless for touch typing. And just for fun, we can combine the P's and the spaces. <laughs> no reaction at all. Pathetic. You can probably hear the, hear the clicks on the recording. So, so much for high quality Apple hardware.